Guys, today we're going to be talking about some Funko Pops that have been rising in value lately and you are not going to want to miss this list. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about some Funko Pops that have been rising in value lately. Whether that due to be some pop culture news, whether a new movie or TV series that is currently out or on the way, or some other impacts that have affected the Funko Pop marketplace, we're going to break down a nice list of Funko Pops that have been seeing a nice rise in value. If you are new to the channel and you enjoy tracking the value of your collectibles, specifically Funko Pops, and you've come to the right place, so make sure to subscribe because because we would love to have you join our Slapshot Pops family. So, without further ado, let's jump into the list. So the first pop that we're going to be talking about is a character that just had its third movie hit the theaters, and that is, of course, Ant-Man, and we actually just saw Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania, and I actually thoroughly enjoyed the movie. Definitely wasn't the best Marvel movie I've ever seen, but it was enjoyable. And the Ant-Man pop that has seen a really big spike in value is the original Blackout Ant-Man, which was a 2015 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Now, this is a weird one, so I want to break this down really quick. The con sticker is currently trending for $180. However, the shared sticker is still going for only about $18, which is a massive difference in price. It's not uncommon to see a difference in price between the common, or excuse me, between the con and the shared sticker. However, you usually don't see a price gap of that much. Like I said, Ant-Man was an enjoyable movie. He's definitely a character we could be seeing more of in the Marvel Cinematic Universe now that we are into Phase 5. Paul Rudd shows no signs of slowing down or aging for that matter. So if you're an Ant-Man fan and you have this one in your collection, you're looking to be in pretty good shape. The next pop that we're going to be talking about is yet again another Marvel pop, although this is another interesting one because it's actually a Blacklight pop, and it's one of the five original Blacklight Marvel characters that Funko actually released, and this one, of course, is Spider-Man. Now, this was, without a doubt, the most sought-after Blacklight pop when the original five ones hit the market. This was a Target exclusive like the other four. However, you could only get this one in the exclusive t-shirt bundle, and this thing was selling out like crazy in stores it was difficult to get online and everybody was going after this one interestingly enough the other four have gone down in price however spider-man right now is trending for hundred and sixty dollars as there has been some pretty high sales lately including one that sold for two hundred dollars spider-man is a very popular character we're going to be getting more of him of course in the marvel cinematic universe and i actually think of all the blacklight ones it really suits spider-man very well so very interesting to see this one go up and the other ones continuing to trend downward. So for today's list, we actually have one more Marvel pop, and this is of a character we have yet to see in the MCU, although I think this one is going to be a huge grail one day. It practically already is a grail, and this one I'm talking about is Ghost Rider, and the pop that I'm specifically highlighting for today's video is the original Ghost Rider. This one actually came out way back in 2012, and it was trending for about $90 to $100 until the end of last year. Now it's going for a whopping $190. So people are seeking out this Ghost Rider pop for their collection. I think the reason why they're going after this one is because there's also a glow version as well as a metallic version and both of those have just shot through the moon in terms of value and have pretty much outpriced a lot of collectors because everybody has a price that they're willing to pay for a certain Funko Pop and usually when you cross that $500 threshold that really eliminates a lot of collectors. So I think because of that reason, because of those other two just getting so expensive, a lot of people are going out and trying to find this one for their collection and since it's so old there's really not that many on the marketplace to choose from when Ghost Rider inevitably does show up in the MCU this one is definitely going to be an even harder pop to acquire so now we're going to take a break from talking about some Marvel pops and we're actually going to be highlighting some Transformers pops and I know there's one patron specifically out there who said no one ever talks about Transformers Pops. Well, I actually have two Transformers themed Pops that we're going to be discussing for today's Pops on the Rise video. And the first one being the Walmart exclusive Stinger. Now, this was from the original wave of Transformers Pops that came out way back in 2014. And I actually am a big fan of the Transformers movies. I know I might get some flack for that, but I grew up with them and I really enjoy them, especially Shia LaBeouf. Now, Stinger here, this is the only version that they've ever made. And it's currently 
only going for $70. It was going for around $30 to $40 for quite a while, but now it has gone up to $70. And there's actually a new Transformers movie coming out this summer. It's Transformers Rise of the Beast that's going to be premiering in theaters on June 9th, 2023. So this could be the first of potentially many other Transformers Funko Pops going up in value. We'll see how the movie does, and I'm very curious to see how the marketplace is going to fan out. We do have one more Transformers themed pop that we're going to be discussing. Now this one is a little bit different because it is a Freddy Funko and this one is actually the non-metallic 1500 piece version of Freddy Funko as Optimus Prime. Now this one has been going up a little bit and I think it has to do with the NFT Transformers pops finally getting shipped out and a lot of people now have that beautiful Bumblebee Freddy Funko now in their collection and I think as a result a lot of people have gone out and purchased this Freddy Funko as Optimus Prime to go with their Freddy Funko as Bumblebee. Now this one is a little bit different. It is trending for $240 which is very expensive. It did hit a low of $180 so it has jumped up about $60 in the span of only two months. There is another version of this pop which is a metallic that's only 500 pieces and then there's even a black light version which is also 500 pieces. Those two ones are very expensive so the logical explanation when somebody wants to grab one of the Freddy Funko as Optimus Primes for their collection they're going after this one and that's why it's going up in price. So now we're going to be switching universes yet again. We have a lot of different and diverse characters on today's list and the next one that we're going to be talking about is the Regal Green Dragon dragon from Game of Thrones. And now everybody knows that brand new House of the Dragon prequel series over on HBO Max has definitely caused a spike in a lot of Game of Thrones pops and this one is no exception. So this one has showed up in many different forms. Six inch as a pop ride in three packs but the one I'm specifically highlighting is the original single four inch Regal Dragon pop. And forgive me if I'm saying this character's name wrong. I am not a Game of Thrones or House of the Dragon follower. Follower, but this one released in 2014 and interestingly enough it was going for about 60 to 65 dollars back in the winter time and now here in 2023 it has jumped up by more than a hundred dollars as it's currently going for 180 dollars so this could be another sign that a lot of game of thrones hype is coming back into the, into the funko pop community and a lot of people are going to be seeking out the game of thrones pops once again a lot of them are older a lot of them are hard to find, so it'll be very interesting to see what goes on in the marketplace, especially with House of the Dragon Season 2 coming out next summer. So the next pop that we're going to be talking about is a very unique one. It comes from Disney and this one has jumped up a lot in value. So we had to highlight it for today's video. And the one that I'm actually talking about is the very unique Roger Rabbit and Jessica Rabbit Toy Tokyo exclusive 2-pack. Now some of these OG Disney 2-packs do not hit the market very often. And normally when they do, they are not in the best condition. But when one does hit the market in very good condition, it definitely goes for top dollar and this one is no exception. So this one was trending for about $200 to $240 for a good chunk of 2022. However, it has almost doubled in price as it's currently going for $430 and that's partially thanks to a couple that have sell, sold for over $500. This is from 2014, so a very old pop, like I said, one that you're definitely not gonna come by too often and overall, compared to a lot of other Funko lines, Funko has actually not made a lot of Roger Rabbit or Jessica Rabbit Funko Pops. So it's really no surprise as to why this one is going up. So up next is a very, very cool two-pack as well. And this one comes from the Rugrats line. And the one that we're specifically talking about for today's video is the BAM exclusive Tommy and Chucky. And I know we have this one in our collection and Joanna absolutely loves collecting the Rugrats Pops. In fact, she was super pumped because she just got this brand new two-pack in her collection from Amazon, the Phil and Lil Devil Twins 2-pack. And this one is super cute. And this could be a reason why this other Tommy and Chucky 2-pack has been going up in value. So Funko has been slowly putting out some more Rugrats Pops, and I think that's making collectors go back and try 
try to hunt down these original ones. The Tommy and Chucky two-pack here released way back in 2017. For most of 2021 and 2022, it was going for about $50 to $60. However, thanks to some high sales recently, it is currently trending for $90, and I don't think it's going to be long before this one cracks 100 So if this one was one on your wish list, you might want to grab it sooner than later because this is well on its way to becoming a mini grail. And we're going to be switching universes yet again, this time going over to the DC universe where there's actually, for the first time, I feel like in several years, a little bit of hype. And that hype, of course, comes with the brand new Flash movie that is going to be coming out this summer with Ezra Miller's Flash alongside Michael Keaton's return to the Batsuit and, of course, Ben Affleck. And I am equally excited to see both actors return as the Caped Crusader right alongside Ezra Miller. Now, the pop that I want to specifically highlight for today's video is a Flash pop, and it is an older one, and I think that we're going to be seeing a lot of older Flash pops go up in value, and this one is no exception. So the one that I want to highlight for today's video is the Fugitive Toys exclusive White Lantern Flash, and they did make two versions, but the one we're talking about is the Glow in the Dark one. And I got to say, as a huge DC fan and a diehard Funko collector, obviously, the White Lantern DC line is one of the coolest lines that Funko has ever come out with. Now this one is pretty old as it was released once again in 2014. It was trending for around $100 to $120 for the most of 2021 and then in the beginning of 2022. However, it is starting to creep back up in price. At one time, it was going for a high of $180, and currently, as it stands today, it's trending for $160. With the hype for the Flash movie, I have no doubt that this one is going to crack $200, probably before the start of the summer. So, once again, if this is one that you're looking to add to your collection, I would definitely not wait much longer. And the last pop that we're gonna be discussing for today's Pops on the Rise video, it is a really, really interesting pop and a really weird situation. So that's why I saved this pop for the end of the video. This one, of course, comes from one of my favorite universes, the Star Wars universe. And we all know there's an insane amount of hype right now for The Mandalorian Season 3, myself included. I am absolutely loving it. And the pop that I'm highlighting for today's video is the Luke Skywalker, the Hoth version with the Wampa. Now, this one was a really interesting two-pack. Not only did you get the six-inch Wampa alongside a four-inch Luke Skywalker with, if I might add, very interesting choice where they actually had a four inch pop alongside a six inch pop. They don't normally do that. So this is arguably the most unique Funko Pop of all time. Also, Luke Skywalker is upside down in the box on purpose. If you see this pop, that is not a mistake. He is actually upside down and then the Wampa has his arm cut off of course which we saw in the Empire Strikes Back. Now this was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive way back in 2015 and the interesting situation that we have on our hands is that this pop was actually trending for about $130 to $150 however now the con sticker version is currently trending for $620. It is basically quadrupled in value overnight, which is pretty insane. Now that's due to a very high outlier sale of $895. So not sure if someone's attempting to do some price manipulation. However, if the con sticker doesn't matter to you, you can actually still get the shared sticker version for about $100 and it's the exact same pop. But nonetheless, it is the 40th anniversary of the Return of the Jedi movie. So there could be some, you know, OG trilogy collectors going back and trying to get some of these older Star Wars Funko Pops. So this could be a legit sale. But nonetheless, you guys will have to let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. What do you think of all the pops that we talked about for today's video? What do you think of these, you know, some crazy high sales? I think a lot of them are actually legit because most of the pops we discussed for today's video are older pops. They don't pop up on the market too often. And there are still a lot of collectors who are willing to shell out quite a bit of money for older pops. So that's going to do it for us. Let me know down in the comment section below which one was your favorite and if you happen to own any of these pops in your collection. So thank you guys so much for watching. With that being said, don't stop shooting until you score and we'll see you all very soon.